out here. Okay, well, and, I must not know. Yeah, no, nah, it's a lot I of people out here. Know. And, and the, the craziest thing about it is, um, you know, I didn't expect this. Yo, where's my water? Down? It's like, where's the water? Your water is. It's right there next to you. E, you trying to steal my water. No, that ain't cool. I don't want your little funky water. That, Here you go. That That's ain't what cool. I don't want. All right, let me get the water. Cool, cool, cool. So, you know what it is. Oh, here's the young lady. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the yes. young lady with the shirt I was talking about. Come, yes. Come, oh, come, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Check this, shirt, say, out. Come, come check this shirt out. Please check this shirt out. Yes. I was telling them that you had on a. Oh, I was wrong, y'all. I had said that they were gold. Hey, baby. Safety they pins. All oh, them things is alright. Them things is fire though. Okay. You see how pretty that is, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. She can be zoomed in on on this. <laughs> that shirt is pretty. Yeah. And she's gonna give it to me right before I leave. I know. Don't worry about it. I know it's probably a size two, and I'm over here looking like a whole twelve. But that's okay. I'm gonna. Hey, hey yo, I'm e, gonna you do wild. something with it. You wow. Hey. Alright, so look. Exactly what it is that you do, because I noticed we went to your table. Mm -hmm. I see you got yep. candles out here. You make these candles yourself? I do. All of them are handmade. Okay, cool. Now, what's the name of your company? So, it's under Utopia Empire, but my candle line is called Utopia Lights. Okay, okay, Utopia Lights. So, okay. here's my thing. I know a lot of a lot of women, when they make candles and stuff like that, y'all kind of, they pertain to like women and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Not. That's oh, not no, true. No. Majority of time, no. all the candles. Men, men like candles too. They just don't want to go and buy them. They don't know what to buy. Mm -hmm. You see yeah, what I mean? We, yeah, we don't go looking for cam candles. But no, you look for candles because you think the candles are invitations. Yeah. When you get over true. to somebody's house and they lit up, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah she they, got the candles burning. Because they like not what it means. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's when we start lighting candles. But we want to light candles so we can get the, the house smelling like a, you know, a that's man. Right. Right. You yeah. know, and you come in and then we can. Seduce and everything, that's, but here's the oh, deal. Is that what yeah. it is? You see, you see, I told I'm, you. I'm gonna keep it real. I, I ain't gonna lie. That's what you know. It's a setup. Mm -hmm. So, I how long have you been doing this? I've been doing candles for about two years now. Okay, cool. Now, okay. now, first off, we we just skipped over your name, yeah. all right? And I apologize, but what's your name? My name is Dazara. Gosh, damn, that's dope, Dazara. Yeah, it's beautiful, ain't it? It's unique. Yeah. Now, what, it now, is. It, what's it the is. meaning? Well, I'm named after both of my grandmothers. So my mom's mother name is Dolores, and my dad's mother name is Sarah. So okay. it's spelled the Sarah, but my mom got the pronunciation from somebody that she met named Dazara. Okay, 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 that's dope. See, black people, we know how to do it. We know. Yes. How, when I say we can just take some, put it together, and just make magic, that's what we do. That's <laughs> yeah, what we do. That's the truth. Now, so I'm going to show y'all, if mm -hmm. I can, Quark, yeah. I want them to see... You know, a little bit of what now that's one of the products if you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Yes, this so right pretty, here. You don't is even the, want to burn it. It's the reset candle. So I make okay. the luxury tins. Well, I get it from a manufacturer, but I decide to make the candle luxury so that you can use it after the candles are done. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I can like, put some pennies and some yeah, corners and stuff up some in Some your jewelry. Oh, you can put whatever you want yeah, in there. Yeah, that probably should be a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Not the pennies and stuff. Huh? <laughs> it's probably not the pennies because you want to manifest. So oh, put some hundred dollars right, in there right. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to keep that for the Crown Royal yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, now, how did you, how did you um, hear about this um, pop-up shop? Who so, um, Boss Business Base. I don't know her real name, but I met her networking at another pop up shop. Okay. Okay. So she was doing jewelry, and I was like, girl, let me get an anklet. Okay. okay. So I, bought, I got an anklet from her, and then she bought one of my candles. So we kind of like swapped products or whatever. And then I saw her promoting this, and I thought, I know she got a network of people, so I'm like, it would be best for me to just come on and right. show my That's candles. What's up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Connect yeah. with them. Yeah. With them. Now, shout, shout out to Boss Business Bay because they they are out here doing the damn thing. Yeah. Right? And when I tell you that, um, I can't I can't thank her enough for allowing DLE Radio to come in here, especially me and Miss E, to come in here and rock out with her. Um, it, I mean, everything has been absolutely dope to see all the black businesses in here, um, you know, because it is about the black dollar, okay. right? Got, exactly. That's we right. got to support. We got to support. So when I tell you, um, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how I can explain to you guys on what it looked like, but I will be taking video from my phone so you guys can see it. Everybody came in here prepared. This young lady right here table is stacked with candles. That's right. You know, and um, how can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Utopian Lights. That's E U T O P I A N Lights L I G H T S. All right, all right, and that's what it is. Listen, quite a one big deal. 
And it's Miss E, baby. Uh huh. And it's us. It's we. It's DLE. DLE. So please don't. Hey, stay tuned. And and again, we got we got Ed. We need to talk about this one real quick. The yeah, I have the so go getter. The manifest goals. Look at that. And then all of them have intent oils already infused in it. We got dandelions in there. If you don't know about dandelions, do your research, people. Come on now. And look at this jar. Look at that. You see that? You it's see that, detail. people? Dandelions. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Make you want to so, feel like you're running through a field. So, so mm -hmm. one one last thing, right? I know this ain't actual gold. You can't guys, put that around your neck. Yeah, bro, I was okay? going to ask. You could don't, if you want to. Who go? Who go? Tell me not to. You know what I mean? Well, so y'all already see what's going on here, all right? Yes, the reset candle. This the reset. one is the best seller. I only got two left right now before I got to restock. Okay. Now, how much would this go? This one is forty five dollars. Forty five dollars, and what about the um forty five dollars? Forty five for that one. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So you guys know what you're getting. E, hold that one up for me. You guys know oh, what you're getting. So all right. Good. Yeah, this. <coughs> Look, God, God damn. You weren't ready damn. for that one, huh? Nah, I right? wasn't. You probably weren't hey, yo. ready for this one right here. This yeah. one is what more a, subtle. What the thing is, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, I'm, I, it, it I'm, is I'm too heavy, people. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, even if you have to use this for protection, it's gonna work. Trust you gonna get your money. Oh, yeah. If you got an intruder and he, <laughs> he or she is not supposed to be here, oh, no, these... hey, reset. Boom. Reset. Is, I can't say it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Word. Well, you know what it is. It's quite a one oh, big deal. Candles. That's Miss E. It's DLE. We'll be right back. Thank you so Yay. Much, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Definitely. Look, you know what to do now. You know, you got our business information. Just come on and check us out. All right? It's a 24 hour radio right. station. We got everything popping on there. Yeah. All right? So, yeah, that's about it. Thank we'll be guys. right back. All right. Thank you again. Yeah. Be careful with this one. Radio and, and this is Miss E, baby. Uh huh. So listen, E, look, look, look over there e, at that camera. Well, first, first and foremost, <laughs> he's already told me how this works. He oh, told right. me I didn't have to work both cameras. Oh, all right. E. Okay. All right, that's a all bet. All right, that's what so we're gonna listen, do. Mind our own business. Yes. Uh huh. So look, we're sitting down with one dope ass <laughs> business owner. She got her own bo boutique, and she go by the name of Clacy, which is a dope name. I love the name Clacy. Clacy. What's your name again? What's the name? Clacy. Clacy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Clacy, first of all, how old are you? I'm 23. 23. And you're already an entrepreneur. Yes, I started my first company in 2016 after I graduated, which was my hair wow. company. So um, I started my hair company. I make custom wigs, sell extensions. I do hair as well. However, I moved to LA for college, and that's when the building of my boutique came together, okay. so to speak. Okay. That's crazy. This girl was hustling. Y'all don't know nothing about that. You can start real early. You Word. can just like be in middle school and just have a whole business. See Word. what I'm saying? Came out, came out, out the school hustling That's like right. ASAP. That's right. Now, what what exactly got you um, inspired to do your own boutique? Um, I've always had a love for fashion. Um, mm -hmm. So me going to school in LA, I stayed right by the fashion district. I literally say walking distance from the fashion district, actually. And so just making money with my hair company, I wanted to tie fashion somewhere into me trying to build my entrepreneur life. Right. Um, and I literally called my mom one day, and I was like, I'm starting a boutique. And she was like, what? And I was like, I have all the vendors down the street from my house. So why would I not do it? She was right. like, okay, so how are you going to get the money? And I was like, well, my hair company is doing well, so I would just budget money from my hair company to start my boutique. And exactly. that's literally where exactly. it came from. That's dope. And she just fall on a budget until she got what she wanted. And she has what she wanted. Exactly. Now, all right, right, so this is this particular boutique is what's what's the name of your boutique as of now? Dope season. Dope season. Alright, now is you doing the season like S Z N? S Z N, yes. Alright, cool. Okay. Now, um, how how has business been? Um, I definitely say it slowed down in the beginning of the pandemic, just like everything else. Right. Um, but I feel like due to the fact that more people are traveling more and going to events and trying to be outside because right. we were in the house for so long, I've definitely seen it pick back up a, a lot more. Oh, um, yeah. And I, I say in my personal experience, the pandemic was a blessing in disguise, so to speak. My hair company and my online boutique has definitely done way better now compared to where it was 
post pandemic. Wow. Yeah. Everybody yeah. kind of uh, made a good come up. You know what? It made you turn your hustle up. Yeah. You had right. to. And people was at home, you know, exactly. like me looking at their hair. I'm like, Lord, if I could exactly. just get out for a minute. And, and like, as you can see today, you know, I'm hoping that she can help me. You know, but don't worry about that. She said, we're here today. Yeah. And we we're are. Here. Yeah. We're so, here. So it, it was like, I think it was like a. You know, even with all this PPE mess going on, we still got a chance to see some dope business owners just become, you know, great entrepreneurs. And it's so crazy. Right. How did you hook up um, um, in this pop-up shop? So the girl that put the um, event together, her name is Darielle. And in my first suite, this was... 2018, 19, I believe. Mm -hmm. I got my first suite um, at Synergy Suites, and she used to come around with her little suitcase with all her jewelry hey. and her suitcase. Oh, I remember and those days. Yeah, and I've literally been buying jewelry from her since then. So now I have a suite in Buckhead, and okay. I told her, like, yo, I've been buying, shopping three years. Like, every time we run into each other, we literally sit down and have, like, hour-long conversations. Right. And so... We just started to build a friendship, so to speak, just off of the business relationship that we had. I would buy from her. She would promote me. I would promote her. Right, right. Type thing. Yeah, so when she put the event together, she was just like, Clay, you got to get a table. So, we here. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Darielle, man. Because she also hit me like, look, we need, come through. This going to be, yeah, she was like, right. come through this last minute. Yeah, I said, yeah. yo, I got you. We coming out there to come, right. you know, we're going to kick it with you. We um, for each other yeah. at the end of the day. Everybody eat. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, if we continue this circle, we can, we have no choice but to explode, right? Right. So uh, the way I'm looking at it is um, we all just stay in contact and we, you know, we build um, a network of black businesses that can right. prevail together, you right. know. Uh, and it's so dope to know that you're so young and rocking out here. Right. That's a that's a dope thing that because at some point we'll need um, excuse us fabrics. We got <laughs> yeah. uh, dope season. Yeah, you know right. I mean? that's for right. us. Cause some of those some of those <laughs> right. places be boring. Yeah. Well, you don't find any any good seasoning Whoa. up in those places. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So what would you advise? Any other young, you know, uh, young viewers or entrepreneurs that are trying to come up and do some of the things that you're doing, you know, what, what kind of advice would you give them? I would say to always follow your intuition. Um, it's one thing to start a business, but it's another thing to keep a business going. And a lot of times when building a business, you'll get outside feedback, you'll get other people's opinions, but you know at the end of the day what your vision is. It's crazy because my grandmother literally just texted me like three days ago and she was like, Granny's sermon for today is to never let anyone rewrite your vision. Right. So I've always been right. going by that. I've run into a lot of roadblocks with building two companies at the same time, essentially. Right. And when I listen to other people, I always regret it. It's your business at the end of the day, and you know what you're That's trying to right. do with it. So That's I would right. say that. And to definitely put some structure behind your business. Like, you can't yeah. just be like, okay, I'm going to sell hair, and you make an Instagram and a website, and I got hair on hand. Like, no, you need to budget. You need a marketing budget. Thank you. You definitely need you to. Hear people? Yeah, budget. Yeah, like, budget. you can't build anything without a solid foundation. And I learned that from experience. Right. I've, Reinvented my brands a lot of different times because right. I had no structure. So I definitely would say building a strong foundation will help you build a long-lasting brand at the end of the day and following your heart. That's right. it. That's the key to it. So people, don't make your money today and spend it tomorrow. Yeah, Unless no. you're spending it back with your product. Good things happen you know. in moderation. That's right. You know, you know I just want to say that she sat here and talked. She, she said what she had to say. <laughs> All right. That's right. She said what she said. All right. And what's your name again? Clacy. Clacy. All right. right. And Clacy, give us your business again. Dope Season. All right. Now, how can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at, at Dope Season. My website is www.shopdopezn.com. Prepared and ready. You heard her. You heard her. See, and that's what it is. You gotta yo. get the dope season, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you There's know what it is. There's a lot of dope stuff over there. I can't wait to. I can't wait to get over there. Man, nah. And I will. And I will pop up. I'm known to pop up. Yo, we talking sure to a multi, a future multi-billionaire. I could tell. Right. She, her, her mind is set already. <laughs> You know, and that's, that's the right. dope thing. So you know what it is. Quite a born big deal. And it's Miss E, baby. All right. And it's us, it's we. It's DLE. Yes. Yes. Be dope season. Y'all go check that out, yo. Peace. Thank you.
<laughs> you know how I do. I'm a foodie. I'm, I'm a fat boy, all right? Um, they love fat boys. I got some, first of all, before I, before I tell you what it is, because I see chicken and everything up here, it feel like a little Mexican thing going on. What is, what, what exactly, first of all, what's your name? Chris. I'm a little. You give a, yeah, no, so your Chris. name is Chris? Uh -huh. All right, Chris. Now, what, what is, what's your business name? It's going to be called Chris Cooks. Say that again? Chris Cooks. Chris Cooks. Yeah. All right. Now, how long have you been in business? Um, I just started cooking like not too long ago. Okay. Like a couple months ago. Is this a recipe that is kind of like, um, you know how some people just kind of like go off of a book and be like, okay, I got this done because this is just something that I know how to do. I could go off of a recipe. Or is this something that you came up with? Like, I just seen somebody I was following on Instagram on that explore page, and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. So I just went. And I just bought the same thing, and I just cooked it. And you, you just cooked it? Your own flavor. Yeah. Okay. That's all I did. Okay. So you threw your own funk to it? Yeah. All right. Now, what exactly is this? It's a chicken chipotle bowl. Chicken chipotle. rice, beans, corn, cilantro, and tomatoes and cheese. So if I was thinking chipotle. You think it's kind of spicy? Do you know, it's kind of spicy. It's not kind of spicy. I was about to say, cause I, good. Oh, because I like spice. Okay, taste it. She's trying to tell you is this is not Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this, Chris. Right. This is this is Chris. <laughs> yeah. So so I guess what I, I guess what I was coming from. Okay. So this this the thing. While I while I eat because okay. I is hungry, boss. Um, please tell us a little bit about your business and how long it took you to really like you know think about which you wanted to go with this and why you came up with Mexican. Oh, I cook more than Mexican food. I cook everything. Okay, so I cook uh, fried chicken, cabbage, macaroni and cheese. Jesus, cheese. stop. Uh, stuffed chicken breast. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Stuffed chicken breast. Yeah, macaroni and cheese. Phone. She. Oh, my phone. I gotta go get my phone to come back and show. You. Okay, Chris told me earlier, um, before we got started, that she cooks everything. Okay, people, everything. Don't get it twisted. Chris can and be I found. Do birthday parties, I do house calls. Okay. Come. See, birthday parties, house calls, whatever you need, she got it for you. Mm-mm. He a foodie. Qua <laughs> gonna tear it up. And you'll know if it's not, you'll always know if it's not good because he'll just kind of slow up on it and ease the ease the bowl over to the side and just start back talking. Yeah. yeah but, guess, but, but guess what? That's only my second time making it. Wow. Yeah, I, I made it last Tuesday and I made it again this morning. Yeah, that's my question. When it comes to, okay, you can hear me? Can you hear me good? I hear you. Okay, good. Good. Here's my question. What got you in the cooking? Is this something that you know you just, you know, did you watch your mom's grandmother, you know, watching this type of, you know, cooking and stuff? Right, like right. So, she always cook the same thing. So me and my little cousin, we was having the same thing. I'm like, y'all know what? I'm going to get in this kitchen and cook us something to eat. We're not going to keep eating up pork chops. We both felt afraid of it. Yeah. So I just went in the kitchen and I just started cooking. But I watched them for the most part. Okay. So okay. So I understand you said that sometimes you will um, do this for your coworkers. Yes, I cook for them and I make homemade sandwiches too. Oh, wait a minute now, Chris. You didn't say phone, anything yeah. about the homemade sandwiches. Yes. I'm what kind of homemade sandwiches, girl? Chicken sandwiches, regular lunch sandwiches. <laughs> I know they'd be happy when Chris come through. Oh, yeah, I know they'd be mad too. when Chris don't come to work, <laughs> when Chris take that one day, that, that, that day for herself, <laughs> and they sitting there hungry. Oh, that's what they did to me the other day. <laughs> Wait, so is it to a point now where they, they, they're like, why you didn't come to work yesterday? Uh -huh. like, you know, wow. Okay. Like, Try to low key call her and act like they really trying to see if she okay or not. Hey girl, I'm just checking on you, but really want a plate. It's okay. Wow. Yeah. He trying to get your recipe. He trying to he trying to low key get your recipe. Yes, he is. No, he he does he does everything. He goes. He literally goes in the cabinet and shakes everything on it. Everything. You're not supposed to have everything. So have you ever had turkey ribs? I have. I don't understand that. 
Yeah. First of I all, like the regular ribs better. First of all, what is it? I didn't even know a turkey had a ribs. Rib. Me neither. So I, I I don't think that that's. A, I'm sorry. I don't think it's a thing. She think I, it's like rat ribs. Or something. Rat ribs. <laughs> rats don't have ribs. Rats don't even. Have, rats don't even have bones. That's how they get into everything. I know you do got like ribs. This shit stick to your head. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I came in hungry. Only thing I forgot was my avocado ranch. That's the only thing I forgot. I was like, oh, I forgot something. Well, I, 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 when I first passed her in the building, um, she had a box full of these plates. Yeah, they are. And I went back down a little while ago, and she's passed half. So, I mean, she's doing well today. So, if you need her, people, she's going to let you know exactly um, how to get in touch with her. And, again, the name of her business. So, that way you can reach out. Y'all can call me at 678-923-8276. Say that for me one more time, a little louder. 678-923-8276. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Luda Simply Me. How you spell that? Spell it out for me. L-U-D-A-S-I-M-P-L-Y-M-E. Oh, like Luda Chris. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if that ain't unique, I don't know what is. That's what's up. That's what's up. Chris is here in Atlanta, and she is mobile, right, Chris? Yes, ma'am. She is mobile. Um, and people, don't don't call Chris on a whim like you call her at six o'clock and you need her to be to you at six thirty. Mm. Come on, people, we're not doing that. You know, call Chris, book her in advance, and get you a wonderful meal, baby, because she cooking over here. <laughs> if she not doing nothing else, she cooking. Yes, sir. Oh, she's been visiting Mike. I had to drink it slow, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That's going to go good with this. I'm going to get something from Mike too You going to be able to walk out the building, player? I might have to carry Mike. No, I know. I'm not going to. That's what I'm not going to do. I need all my back. No, sir. No, sir. See? See what I mean? Uh, he got listen. your food now. He won't be rude. You see uh, what no, I mean? Yeah, listen, I was just just like know. a man. Yeah, <laughs> yo, it's quite a one big deal. And it's Miss eBay. Uh huh. And it's DLE. Again, check it out, please. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This was very good. Would have been nice there. if the people could have seen the plate before you just dug into it's it. It's demolished right now. I the Chipotle plate, the chicken Chipotle plate. It was good. Hey, hey, uh, Big K, would you like a plate? I'm a. It's good. It's chicken. It's spicy. Flavor. It's real spicy. I no, can't. It's not, but it's not spicy. No, you. It's not spicy. No, not at oh, all. I thought you said it was spicy. No, oh, it's okay. Good. I'm sorry. I'm I feel you. like I went to to one of these Mexican spots. Like the girl got her hand, Andre, Andre. Yeah, her hand went through. Like it's, <laughs> she got the hands of good around here. But anyhow, we are gonna get back at y'all. You know what it is? DLE Radio. Keep tuning all in, right? people. We got yep. more to come. Later. fitness trainer but you know um well like i said um as far as like fitness like that's my bread and butter right and like with fashion like i have a, i'm very very passionate about fashion so like i said like i always put myself in my own clothes so um and it's very very unique like the material is top tier okay yeah like my biggest thing for me is about adding value and you know my target audience something that you know people can really, really fall in love with and be very, very comfortable in. Right. Um, do you find it hard to get your product out there with so many others um, no. doing the same? No. See, you know one thing about it now, do you, so you say you've been here for a while, right? Mm-hmm. In, up north, do you think it would have been harder? I say that because, right, so one thing I noticed about up north, well, at least here, everybody supports each other. Even if you have another company that does the same thing you do, yeah. everybody's supportive. 
They, yeah. and, and they'll give you like if they're doing well, they'll mm-hmm. give you the steps to get to where they at. Yeah, and I'm definitely so I definitely answer your question with that. I think well, if I would say no because of social media, but yeah. as far as like finding a network and right. trying to cultivate a team and right. stuff. You might find a little bit of difficulty, but if there's a will, there's a way. We right. can be able to, you know, build a team. Yeah. You'll be successful be able to build a brand and have mm-hmm. longevity within that. Now, what's what's been your roughest patch doing your clothing um, line? Um, I think right now is um, expanding and getting more out there and finding a specific target audience because it's one thing to have your brand cater to you. But if it's not catering to your audience, like I said, there will be no longevity in your brand. And like, the goal is longevity. Now, now, is it when you say cater to you? Is it that? Cause all right, so I'm a I'm a hip hop artist, right? Okay. But I also I own the radio station. Mm-hmm. My radio station is catered to the stuff that I like yeah. and the stuff that my son like, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I come to find out a lot of people like this shit, yeah. right? So I don't. I, so when it comes to your clothing. Um, well, with your fitness gear, um, is it a thing where it's like, okay, I would like this. So, are you doing? You do you you do you make it for you, and then other people mm-hmm. like what you're doing? Yeah, I make it for me, and then everybody else. If you like it, you fall in line. If you don't, then you can, yeah. you know, find something that you like. Yeah. All right, cool. Now. Within this year that you have been working on your product, how has business been? Business has been good. Um, it's my first school year, so um, I've come to find a few pickups. Um, I do know, like, I'm super big on like getting myself out there, networking, okay. all that stuff. Like, so pop up shops okay. are really, really good. Even if I don't do well financially, but nine times out of ten, I do. Mm-hmm. At least I'm there to network and to meet okay. other people. Okay. Um, I do a lot outside of, you know, just training and right. my brand. So it's always good to get that exposure. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Well, I appreciate you for sitting. Thank you. And, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and your name again? Alexis. Alexis. Body by A-B. There you so go. B O D I E D B Y A B. Oh, that's, that's dope. All right, so... Y'all know how to find her and locate her, all right? And if you can't locate her there, you can go on to DLE Radio and just find her in our friends list, all right? Um, I advise you guys to get out there, support support these young black entrepreneurs because they're doing it. These sisters are doing it. I mean, I'm in here. I see a lot of young ladies. One thing, I, uh, before I let you go, mm-hmm. is it kind of dope to see that it's a bunch of black yes, women out there? It's amazing. I it's love crazy, it. right? I love it. I walked in here and look, a lot of people like... Being that we own a, a, a black radio station, nobody, you know, when you say, hey, I own a radio station, uh-huh. everybody be like, hey, okay, podcast? Yeah. No, a radio station. And it's like, I, to, to walk in a room with other radio stations is cool, but everybody's like, oh, you do that, I do this, yeah. you know. But coming here and seeing so many black women out there, mm-hmm. you know, and, and so have everybody been, like, talking to each other and networking? Yeah, no, I'm about to make my rounds right now. Okay, cool. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. I do a lot of events. Okay. It'll be dope if you join us at some of our events as vendor, you oh, know, definitely. and come through and come kick it with us. We just did a pool party. We did all kinds. Like, we get it in. So... We'll, we'll hopefully we'll have her on one of our events, you know, soon. But you know what it is? It's quite a one big deal, right here on DLE Radio. Oh, and uh, Danielle, um, what's she? Well, anyway, we'll we'll catch up with her as soon as she come back. All right. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey yo, this is quite a one big deal. And I'm Miss E Baby. And it's us, it's we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. Listen, we are here with Darielle. This young lady put this whole damn thing together. All right? And she got the honestly, building wide open, baby. Yeah, I mean, it's so much 
so much going on behind us. There's a lot of um, entrepreneurs back there. A lot of black women are in the building doing their damn thing. All right now, right. now, Daria. First of all, what's, what's your Instagram page? Boss Business Babes underscore. What made you pick that name, Boss Business Babes? Is that like, is that like a? Do you have like a entourage of women that works work together? So I wanted to create a brand for women entrepreneurs who I looked at as women bosses um, that was still able to handle their business and still look, a, you know, still look like a babe. So I just grouped it and, and branded it that way, and then you know I pitched it, and the girls was like, yeah, like you know, I love it. And then it's just self-explanatory, Kwa. Yeah, I mean, you, you, yeah, you don't see, it's just self-explanatory. I, I see, okay? I see. Now, huh. now, how long did it take you to put this together? Um, this particular event, I marketed for the whole, so 30 days. Yeah. Okay. Well, did you find any complications? No. No. <laughs> At all? You sure? Because that she'll, smile she'll, was she'll like... She's a boss, Kwa. She's yeah. a boss. I you just got to ask. Name. You didn't I got to ask. you didn't hear the name. So, so... Because I'm new to the whole event planning thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm asking because I'm learning from you. And because I need to know how to put on an event like this. Like you, it seemed like this was perfect. Like uh, effortlessly done. All right? And the way you got people set up, even the way people set up out here, you can walk and everything is there and lined up, you know? So, I mean, like. I know this is not your first event because everybody that sat here said they worked with you at another event and the way you guys connected was just genuine. Um, would you say that majority of people here, you treat them, I mean, they like family? Yeah, I'm about to business very family. Like, we a brand, but, you know, like, we a culture you know and that's what I wanted that was my whole thing like I just didn't know how to like bring black women together because I know like we're powerful together right so I wanted to I, I came up with boss business babes as like a gateway to kind of bring everybody together without it being we got to go to the club girls right, trip I wanted right. it to be about business about making money and knowing like okay we could do it too because that's just me that's me like so you can really afford those trips yeah yes. like yeah and, and yeah. You, you can pay for them yourself it's <laughs> elbow because this is not a little house okay. <laughs> and they're not paying for those most times these people. <laughs> Just to throw that out there. Yeah. Now, now, where are you actually from? Because I hear something. I'm originally from Gary, Indiana. Okay, Gary. <laughs> Gary in the house. Yeah, I knew you wasn't from here. I'm from Jersey, so I knew. Even the way you moving your hands and stuff. How long you That's been right. here? Um, I've been here about eight years. Okay. Seven. I'm going on seven. She been here for like forever. She's from Jordan. Right, no, but I'm from Florida, so that's okay. okay though. That's okay though. I'm not a peach. You know, I might be cute like one, but I'm not a peach. Okay? Yeah, shout out Boom. to Florida. Shout so, out to the FLA. I wanted to know, like, I know he asked about, like you said it took about 30 days, right? So is that like on the latter part or is that like roundabout the, your time frame of planning? Like do you plan further out most times or it just how does how does that work for you? Okay, so my original niche is I'm a marketer. So, you know, I, because I already have a brand, because I already have a culture, it's nothing to say, hey guys, you know, I'm putting on a pop-up shop, come through. However, my my actual, put, like I'm big on footwork, which a lot of people is like, you know, I just do um, digital ads. So it was literally like I was out passing out flyers at the beauty salons, at the nail salons, I'm putting them at, you know, the beauty shops, all types right, of places. Right, right. And as I'm passing out to the flyers, the girls like, oh, this just popped up on my social media. So I was hitting them so many ways right. to make, you know, to have people right. come out like and actually. You can't help but to see it. Yeah, you, yeah you, you're going to see me. Yeah, I'm in your face. Like, see me until you don't see me. Yeah, yeah okay. that, that, so you went, you took it back to. Uh, what I, I just recently did that for a art show that we just had, and I mean I literally I, it was a you ever you ever this so for instance I went out and I went to like Office Max and got some flyers printed out. I only wanted small flyers because I said I was in my mind I said you know what I'm gonna go back to being on the street like regular street team yeah. right yeah. and I'm thinking okay if I go get some flyers go to the clubs. Pass flyers out, put them in people's hands. Um, this should work out perfectly fine, right? But what ended up happening was the flyer that was printed out was extra big, right? So I only had like 60 of them. Mm -hmm. Do you know that shit worked? Mm, making it bigger, yeah. It worked. Yeah. But I think overall, if I did not hit the streets, mm -hmm. 
You know, and I think a lot of people forget that you still people still want to know what's yeah, going on exactly. up in person, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I get what you're saying with the whole. Hold on one second, because this thing about the come on, y'all, stop playing with me. It was a good turnout, though. It yeah, was almost it was a great like turnout. One minute it didn't exist, and the next minute it was like, "Hey, we're doing our show." Yeah. Like, huh? And yeah. then the next thing we were there. Yeah. And I was like, and then you started sweating because you're like, oh my God, are, yeah. people, are they going to show up? Are they, yeah. they going to show up? Are they going to so, show up? And it, I mean, it, it just flows so smoothly. And I know that's not like a, a all the time thing, especially when you don't really have like a name that's just real, real present. Right. You know what I right, mean? So right. it's like you just kind of on pins and needles until you figure out, like, just until you see what happens. Right. And it actually, you did really good with it. Yeah. Really good now, with what, what's your next event? Yeah, so what I've decided to do is to host um, a pop-up shop on the last Sunday of every month. Okay. Because this particular, like, I literally woke up this morning, people still trying, like, can I just send my money? Can I come? Can I come? But, you know, I was, like, maxed out. I pushed as many as I could. But um, I had such a huge, like, return on everything where August and September, like, filled up because right. they couldn't make it here. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, well, let me just keep it going. Right, and that's, so. a, good, that's a good thing because I was that was going to be one of my questions. Like, are people, like, really... But you already have a brand, so maybe not so much. But, like, I always thought, like, people would be skeptical about, you know, like, the money part or whatever. But it seems like people are now knowing that, yeah, you've got to... You're going to spend money to make money. You yeah. can't just come... I can't get the event hall... And then you just come in and sell your stuff. Like I had to, you know, put my money into this. Yeah. So I always, I was thinking when he was doing, I was like, gosh, people probably won't want to, they probably won't want to pay the money, you know, or whatnot. So. Well, um, so like I'm real big on investing in myself. Like right. that's literally like a number one thing that I do. Right. And so I tell people all the time, like even when you know people were were paying their deposits, and even in my right. group chat, because I have like a full Instagram group chat for everybody here. Right. And so I tell people like, listen. I've been doing this for like since 2012. When I when I come out, I'm I'm not just coming out like, oh right. yeah, I'm trying to make some money. You have to network. You have to know that your network is your network. Right. And listen, I might not buy today, but I might buy tomorrow because right. you know my homegirl birthday just came up and oh yeah, I did like that outfit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I tell people all the time like, if you tripping off $150, if you tripping off $200, you you don't have nowhere near a million dollar mindset. Yeah, you don't. And, and you to don't. be honest with You're you, I don't even want you around me. Right. You know, if you tripping on the price, if you overly asking too many questions because I'm going to lay it out for you yeah. beforehand. You know what I'm right. saying? Then you, you iffy, and I don't even want that type of energy on me. So, you know, when you get it together, asking let too me many know. questions. Like, how many people you already got coming? Yeah. Like, do people, know, do, do people know you? Hey, you either do or yeah. you don't. Asking me stuff that you're not doing. Like, exactly. Yeah. You know, you want me to mark it harder than you. Remember, that just you. happened to you. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I had somebody ask me, well, how many tickets did you sell already? I'm like... Yeah, how many okay, that's too much information like, right there. The yeah, exactly. but yeah. Now, and, here's and, and, and what was the last thing you sold? Yeah, now here's, these open, yeah. Now, now my thing is my my thing is too. Um, a lot of people will complain about the 150 to 200, but hey, you about to come here and make more than you're gonna right. be paying out. So you get your money back. If this is about everybody network, it's not even about the money for me. No, it, right. It's I tell people all the time, like with these events, people just think that you make all this money. Yeah. I don't make no money. Like I have to set up a booth out there just like y'all, and I have to network, and I'm not out here just passing out cards for y'all. I'm passing right. out cards for people to come shop with right. me too. Exactly. And so I tell people all the time. Like your 150 went into the building. It right. went into the setup. It went into you the paid networking. You to be here. That's all you did. That's I what you did. I put 200 dollars behind every ad, and I posted like wow. seven ads. So I tell people all the time, like you tripping off 150 dollars, you're nowhere near ready no. for business. Like, and you, you and, and, and all you did, <laughs> the, the it's been laid out for you. You did all the work. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You did all the work. All you gotta do is come set up and sell and just keep it moving. Just that simple. You ain't here to help clean up or nothing. Oh my goodness. You just clean up what you got and you go. Yes. All that falls on the, the person who set it up. And, 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 and the deposit is on, it's it's on you, us. You know what I mean? Yo, it's so dope that you said all that because I don't have to. <laughs> right. For real. Exactly. It, it, and, and it shows that other event planners or um, you know, marketers or whatever. We all are out here trying to get somewhere. And the only way to get there is if we work together. We can't yep. be nickel and diamond and be concerned about how much you're spending if you're trying to make it to a million yeah. or a billion. And I think presentation, people, um, Definitely. is important, too. You Definitely. know, when you come and you put your money in, you're investing in yourself, 
allow presentation um, to take over. You know, go ahead and make sure you look nice. Yeah. Make sure your table yeah. looks nice. Yeah. People, when they when they see your presentation, it makes them want to come over more so and probably shop with you. When you have a messy table, your presentation is good. People kind of turn their nose up sometimes, That's and they so just kind of keep it moving. So That's so true. Yeah. Well, uh, what I do want to say is thank you for allowing us to come and sit down yes, thank and you. kick it with some of these people. Thank for real. You so no, no, that was like the the dope thing was it was so last minute. Yeah, yeah. But but I hit you. Yeah. I hit you at first, and then you came. And it was just like boom, boom, boom. Yo, let me tell you something. You don't find that. You don't find that. And you don't. and I just I appreciate you allowing us to come and kick it with you, right? Yeah. And I and, and we gotta do this in the future. And yeah. anything I got going, on, I'm gonna let you know so you can bring your peoples out. Um, you know why? Because it's easier to have a network of vendors and everything like that, and we don't have to worry about it. We could just get this business going, get these people out here, give them what they want, present what we need, right. and get the hell up out of there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's definitely you got any last things you want to yeah. say? Um, I just want to say that um, I really have like worked really, really hard. You know, people think like right. entrepreneurship is like a bunch of glory and you know a bunch of clout chasing or whatever. But I, I, I tell people all the time like when you really serious, when you really focus, and you really trying to be a household brand, you really trying to take things to the next level. You have people coming out spending their money with you. They are investing in themselves, mm -hmm. so they investing in you as well. You know, you got to step. You got to come correct. You know, like me personally, I every every uh, pop up shop, every event that I do, I critique myself. Okay, you you could do this better. You know, may, maybe you can right. hire these people over here to maybe cut you some time over here. So it's definitely about replanning, and redirecting, re -cons um, re consultating, not even what other people would just yourself. Right. Um. But right. yes, and never take no for an answer or doubt yourself. You know, or have any fear. Like everything is based on faith. Keep your faith in God. Keep your faith in yourself. Make sure yep. you you own it, and everything else will flow. That's right. Everything That's else right. will flow. So, and understand how to how to speak to people as well. A lot yeah. of people yeah. just sit because you you gotta have to talk to people. Yeah. You, you know, if you're not a people person, you might as well become one. Well, see, because if you're trying, yeah, in this business, <laughs> you're gonna have to talk. To people. You gotta talk to people. Yeah. And, and, and understand that just because you you might not have heard of us or anybody, but you you might you might be getting involved in a major thing. Yeah. Right. So, right. What, you can't just be a pretty face behind it. Yeah. Behind the table. Yeah. You, you gotta hate. So listen, tell them where they can find you. Um, and how they can contact you, all that stuff, all your insta, all your social media. Okay, well, the building that we're currently in, um, this is my store. So I'm at 352 University. Um, my particular store is in 201. So make sure you guys come shop. We're actually in a black and brown entrepreneurship building, granted um, from the Rockefeller himself. Shout out to you. Uh, for, okay, now. For giving us some grants. Okay, exactly. <laughs> um, um, you also can find me at www.bossbusinessbabes.com. That is my online website. And then um, I go to uh, sal salons Thursday, okay. Friday, and Saturday. Um, not only am I passing on my cards, but I'm also marketing my jewelry, and I sell out every salon that I go to. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's talk about the jewelry real quick. And the reason why I want to talk about it, it I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm here for you. You know what I mean? So once we have our last, that you, if the old girl, we're going to interview her and probably give, I mean, because we got an interview too coming up at six. Yeah, so I want to make sure that we get enough of our, our yeah, you yeah. know, information. I got, in. I got a couple more that were, yeah. um, some weren't ready. And then I'm like, hey, you got to get it. Gotta get this. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, like, people don't need to even be understanding, like, small opportunities like this. Like, this is considered content. Right. You know what I'm saying? You right. can make so much money just based you off of this. You don't know who's watching. You, right. Yeah, you definitely don't know who you, who watching or when else would you present an opportunity like this and not right. paying right. for, Pay for it? Because right. a lot of people be like, you got to pay to be on the radio yeah. show, depending on who it is or what it is. I lady, I was talking to her, I was trying to tell her, I was like trying to ask if she wanted to do an interview. And I think maybe the way I said it, maybe she thought it, was, it had to be paid for, so I had to, Read had to go back. It. Yes, and I said, no, 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 you know, we'd love to have you. We're asking you. It's yeah. not something that you're paying for. So if I were you, I'd take the opportunity, you know, because a lot of times people have never been interviewed. No. And if you've never been interviewed, what a great opportunity to get your first interview, and then you can kind of go back and look and say, oh, I could do, like you say, you could critique your yes. own self. So... Yeah, it's, but, it's, I'm really glad to be here. But I'm I, so glad to I, I be really, here. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, this this was dope. This was a dope event. It um, is. And just to see all these these really, really, you 
know, all these brown people in here, yeah. you know, getting along. Yeah. Working with one another, yeah. you know, and not not fighting or right, hating right, on each other. Right, you know, it's right. like, come on, Yo, people. You're still getting to the bag. Exactly. Because, I mean, exactly. you know, it's all enough of that for makes everybody. Sense. It's so much. They print it every day, guys, and yeah. they burn it. Atlanta like. is Atlanta is big, <laughs> and a lot of people just don't think that there's enough room for everybody to get this money, but it is. Yeah, definitely it is. is. So, I just want to say again, I can't I can't thank you enough for allowing us to come kick it with y'all. Yeah. Um, Definitely, we will be building a relationship with us and yourself because um, it's a lot of things going on, and I would like to be a part of what you got going on. Anything we could do to help out, we want to be there. Yeah, All right? let us know. Let me tell them one more thing, guys. I just want to put out there that I am an African American woman, all black, not mixed, um, and I'm actually in a diamond and gold industry, guys. So I worked three years in silver and lab diamonds, guys, and I just graduated over to diamonds and gold for. You so do I'm it. really, really excited. So That's when y'all right. looking for them bust down Automaz, Rolexes, Patek, hey, come see me. And That's then right. guess what, guys? I do take business owners' um, business logo, and I turn it to a custom diamond chain as a form of advertisement. So make sure you guys shop at BossBusinessBabe.com for that as well. That's right. <clears throat> she got it for you. She said, boss. She came I might need and she that. delivered. You might so, need that. I don't you know, know how saying? much more you want. And how guess, much else you want? And guess what? I swear to God, it's just gonna be my friend. As soon as I get, as soon as I get the bread, I'm gonna come he to you. The bread, he he gets real excitable. That's a word. <laughs> that's a word that we made up. And that's when he gets, he gets word. too excited, so we say excitable. Word. Uh -huh. But yeah, mm -hmm. so we're gonna get old girl, and you know, I'm gonna let you do your thing because I know you know yeah. people are looking for you and everything. Yeah, this yeah. is so so wonderful. Yeah. I really appreciate it. But again. Darielle and I, I can't I can't say thank you. I don't even know how to say uh, how Just much say I appreciate you, it. But thank you, Darielle. All right? Again, all right. let them know your information. I'm going to give you the mic. Give them all the information so we can go get you uh, back to your business. All right, guys. So you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all under one word, Boss Business Babes. Make sure you text 888-111-BOSSBABE. It's going to give you a money code to take $10 off your first purchase at BossBusinessBabes.com. And, guys, listen, if you have started a business, you don't know which way to go with it, you have the vendor but you don't know the market make sure you come and shop with me as well i have boss consultations only for 555 over a hundred thousand dollar content strategy so make sure you shop with me because listen i know how to put you in your bag and that's hey. period <laughs> all right yes sir <laughs> and that's what it is 550 now get yes. your knowledge on. yes sir okay, get your knowledge on <laughs> get your knowledge on quit being hey, cheap and, and, and not knowing uh -huh. information is key well look quite a one big deal and it's Missy, e, baby. And it's us, it's we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. We'll be right back. Hey. Hey. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's quite a one big deal. And it's Missy, e, baby. And it's us, it's we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. Listen, we're here with Sue. CEO of No Complaints Body Wear. Is it Body Wear or Body, body Get? Works. Body Works. Body Works. Get it right. Like okay, let me hold on. Let me get it right. <clears throat> we here with Sue, CEO of No Complaints Body Works. Okay. Now here's the deal. This is like a waist trainer or something. Yes, it is. It's a waist trainer. Okay. Now go ahead. You can hold that. <laughs> yeah. This one I'm gonna ask because. Um, the color on this bad boy. Okay, yeah. Now for me, I'm only looking at color. Okay. I don't know what the hell this thing do. I, I can't you with break, you. I want you to I break cannot. this down for me. So, what is it that you're supposed to do with this thing? Oh, Lord. Okay. So this particular one is called Skittles due to the, the colors. So like when the light hits. That's pretty, right? You see right now it looks like it's black and it got a little color. Yeah, 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 but but like when the light hits, right? You see. The reflection it just of illuminates the, of the yeah. rainbow for real. The skittles, I call it skittles. Now, is this like a, the color like a, the rainbow. Is this like a one size? Fit all no, I do no. have small from small to extra large. That's the largest in the skittles. But in my products that I have on the table in the back, I have from small to four X. In the sweat vest, I have small to four X. Would you say they run? How, how do they? How, how do? How do they run? Do they true run? to size. True they to are size? true to okay. size. So the okay. Skittles, though, this one is like. And I'm 
material. The material is great, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So this one is more tighter than any other waist trainer that I have. So right. I say go down a size. No, I say go down a size with this. Go down a size? Yes. Okay. Or you can stay at the same if you don't want to be too uncomfortable. But yeah, you know, I want to be able to breathe. You want to yeah. be able to breathe. Yeah, I want to be able to breathe. But you know, it's supposed to snatch you up. So. Right, right, okay. <laughs> and so can so you, you can you, now is this something you would recommend because someone sleep in it or? I have had a couple of clients that have slept in their waist trainer and they say they like to do that better than just walking around in it because they still get their five to six hours. That's what okay. I prefer you to wear, five to six hours okay. to train constantly to see the results and it works and it right. works and it works. What about with working out? Can you have it on as you work out or do you not suggest that? You can, you can, but okay. if you haven't worn a waist trainer before, I suggest you to get comfortable with it first, first. without okay. working it out. Right. So just wear it throughout the day once again, going grocery shopping, doing your house errands, cleaning the house. Right. You don't get comfortable first. Right. Right. But if you want to jump right into working out, get that extra train, that's fine too because I work out in mine. Okay. But I'm used to it. How long have you been in business? I've been in business since 2018. Okay. Yes. This is my first with this one, but no, it's not my first run. It's not my first rodeo. Y'all know they're out here. They're getting younger and younger, I'm baby. I'm out here, okay? That's right. I just man. <laughs> well, no, we were asking. I'm 28. It's fine. I'm 28. It's, okay. I'm 28. I be... I, I, I want what they say. You know Let's you normalize to. telling our age. That's right. That's right. Take care of yourself, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about that. Right. You're 28. You don't even have no business frowning up talking about. Don't ask me my age. You ain't even got that yet. Hell, I'm 46, and I'll be like 46. Yeah, no, yeah. Look, because, because you know, yeah. I heard, and after we spoke about this before, I heard it was disrespectful to ask. I always heard this That's when I was right. young as right. a man. But the thing is, when it comes to this business, like this industry. You gotta it's know. Dope to know because it's, it's, it's so crazy. And I'm seeing all these young black women out there right, yeah. right. making it. Like, yo, right. I know women your age. No, I, they can hear me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I know women your age. I mean, younger and your age and older that haven't even touched what you. You, you said you've been doing this since 2018. Yes. Right. So that's that. That makes it so dope. Um, what inspired you? My ex boyfriend okay. oh. <laughs> well I always like working out though so it kind of was one of those I would just go to the gym just right. work out and stuff like that and then he came along we used to work out together go to Stone Mountain do crazy uh, stuff right. like do do the fitness lifestyle right. together right. and I right. enjoyed that because right. I had someone to do that right. with right. and so my sister was like oh she wanted to work out and stuff so he made a post on Instagram for me and right. was like meet us at Bitch Me Maze High School. That's right, my high right. school too. Okay, so he's okay. like, meet us, Bitch Me Maze she High went School. To Maze. Field. I okay. went to Maze. Maze Raiders. Oh. Yes. So, you know, he made a post. It was like, come out, meet us at 9 o'clock. And it's like, right. 10 people showed up. So okay. I was like, yeah, they did. Okay. Now, now you got to perform. He said, now let's go. Right. That's it. <laughs> he's like, let's go. Okay. So. Hey, I did it. So we did it like three days out the week, and then okay. we moved on to DeKalb. Okay. And so we used to go over there at 6 o'clock. Okay. So we, 9 a.m. at Mays, and then DeKalb High School. Oh, wow. Ooh, 6 o'clock. Man. And so we was well outside. worked out. Two workouts in a day. But I brought, yep. I was I was getting it. Two yeah. workouts in a day. And we might work out at 3 o'clock in the morning or something. Just and then a lot of people Geeking. probably weren't sculpting on yeah. their own as they wanted to when they were working yeah. out. Yeah, and so it would just get a feel for it. And so, you know, after the relationship ended, I kind of right. was like, I don't know if I want to keep your name, you know, right, keep right, it because, right. you, you know, but... You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a it's, okay to, to it's okay to be, um, you know, on your own. You know, a yeah. lot of people, you know, keep names even after they've been married yeah. because they're like they still want people to remember who they are when they had that name. Yeah. But I just feel like you can still make your own mark. Yeah, I yeah. definitely did. You know, a lot of things have, a lot of things have changed since then. I have grown a lot. Yes. I really do appreciate him like yeah. for pushing me to even make that post. Like right, when he made right. that post, he believed in me. He sees something like somebody gonna they gonna come. Right. Two people, three people, but it was ten people the first day. So and that's you know, great, but that's like, and that's good. And that's good for a first day. Yeah. Trust me, you have some you have trainers now that are scrambling just to get one or two people to show yeah. up. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna say something too. You know, just because a relationship ends, it's not that it's not like you 
you know, it's not the end all be all. Yeah, it's not. But at right. the same time, you know, God be putting people in your life right. so you can soak something up from them, and he, I'm sure he soaked something from you too. Right. Right. You know, so it it was a reason why you guys were put together. He probably put the battery to say, "Hey, look, I'm here to help you build up to get this battery in your." And now look, you know, yeah. Yeah. And, and of course, whatever's going on now between y'all, at, it's see. No hard yeah. feelings. We really cool. You know, I see him. I tell him thank you. You know, no hard feelings. Nothing. Yeah. We just yeah. Had time. And, and sometimes people, okay. are, yeah, people like you said. Yeah. Sometimes people are in your life for a reason. It might not have been the reason that you initially thought. Right. But it's a yes. There was a reason. Yeah. So now, you know. Now, um, what would one of these pieces cost? Me? Seventy-five dollars. Okay. okay. I don't know if that. I mean, you said it. The way you said it, like this might be no, no that's five dollars. A... It is what it is. My that, yeah. price, you know. That's I right. got good quality that's waist right. trainers, so I'm not gonna just that's right. right. That, that's right. what I... you can't. They're you thick. Can't. She's they're comfortable. Put her money into it. They're yeah. not loose. They're not tight. But the and material, how do you, how do you bag, prefer to wash it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> to, to keep it clean, Word. you can be washed in the in the yes, washing machine. Cold water. Cold, cold water. water. Cold water. Okay. Air dry. Okay, so it can yeah. be in a washing machine. It can be in a washing machine with cold, machine, water, with cold but water. Best to air dry. Air dry, please. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Now, where can they find this product? You can find this product on my website at www.nocomplaintsbodyworks with an S at the end, dot com. You can follow me on Instagram at nocomplaintsbodyworks. Also, miss. M I S S no complaints underscore. All right. Just like that. Session. You can come drop in, get a session with me at the Louth of the Athletics Club. Yeah. Okay. What athletic club is that? The Louth of the Athletic Club. Where is that? It's by House Mill. Top Golf. Oh, by Top Golf. Oh, okay, Golf okay, yeah, House yeah, Mill, yeah. Yeah. House Mill Road. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. okay, I know where. You go to the back across by Chattahoochee. The yeah. KNG to the front to the back. After you pass KNG, or before you get to KNG, where Top Golf is. So, right across from Top Golf. Right, I so got you. The, the warehouse building. Yes, right across, yes, yeah. I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Okay. okay, dope, dope. Well. I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting down with us. I know yeah. we, we was trying to get you for a minute, yeah. but you've been out there. I was working real hard. Yeah. I, was working real hard. I was working. I was like, <sighs> I said, she's trying to go around this, but go no, she already told it. me yes. So you got to right. do it. Yeah. Like, this is one of my struggles, but, right. but it's okay. It's okay. But well, look, you did very good. You did very yep. good, very, very informative, good. Yeah. and you got personal with it. Right. That's that's the main very thing. Very She gave us a little scoop. A little scoop, scoop. But look, the dope thing about that's it okay is your, your, your consumers, the people that's following you, they want to know something that they can relate to. And it's going right. to be a whole bunch of women out there and men that can yep. say, damn, yeah, I, I'm going through this. I, I've been through that too. I got a business going on because of Wait, inspiration. No no no, 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 no. But you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, some people no, out there. You did, you did like this. And I was like, oh, you let me find No, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, some people, you know, this <laughs> This that jersey is, you be talking and you be hands be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But, I, got, I got a vest for you. You want to come get it? Oh, for what, men? For men? For men. I know you might have it. I definitely have. Oh, yes. Definitely have sweat vests for guys. Oh, we got to let the people guys. know about that. Hold hey, on, listen. y'all. Wait oh. a minute. Well, hold on. Yes, I got hold two on, different Alfred, types. Hold uh, um, Ted. What you David? Got? Sweat, sweat vest for the men. So I yeah, got it sweat, sweat all over. So I have two different kinds. Mm-hmm. The first one, it has like a, sw- a waistband. Yeah. Help you sweat. And then like the prong. So you got three different levels of prongs to keep it on. You want to make it tighter, loosen it up. Yeah. Then it's a, it's a vest. So. Almost like when y'all put that weight belt around y'all. Yeah. You know, act like y'all lifting 350 pounds when you really not. But, but I mean, that's not none of my business. I do have sports belts as mm-hmm. well See? for the guys that like to lift. Like to See? get heavy. Yeah, because quad lift. What, quad, what you said? You, know, you lift that day two, they 287. Back. I got quad lift 287. Uh-huh. 287. You know, mm-hmm. you, you know, I. You yeah. know, I knew that Eve was going to come through with that, I mean, right? that's what you said on your Instagram. It was 287. Was flexing, I, and that's just what it is. It was 280. It was, was 287. Flexing. Now, what I would say is, mm-hmm. I will, you know, fellas, you're going to have to get your own. Because I'm going to probably scoop one of those up and uh, come out flexing. Maybe next summer or something. But I'm going to use it all say, when come along. Come out flexing with you. <laughs> Over toe sandals? Yeah, I'm going to use it all when oh, along, okay. but I'm going okay. to flex it. Flex it. Okay. That's cool. Change the way you think. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, Because 
because you know everybody think that you know oh it's summertime coming i'm gonna start using it during the summer and try to show out on the yeah. summer you know get it busy in the winter come out in the summer Hop right out in the summer that's right well right. thank you so much yes, and give them your you. name again and your business again. my name is sue my business name is no complaints body works you can follow me on instagram at no complaints body works or at Miss No Complaints underscore M I S S No Complaints underscore. That's right. That's right. right. That's what's up. Yeah. Look. Sue is in the building, baby. Yes. With no complaints. Okay? Young, None. young, oh, None. young black entrepreneur women are out here That's doing right. their thing. That's right. They and, get to um, it. I just want to, you know, I'm grateful to be in the presence of a bunch of black women, inspired. man. Beautiful black women out here sure. doing their thing. All right. I think I'm going to do more interviews. You yeah, have right. to. That's you right. have you to. You got to. More videos. Yeah, you, you got, got to. to. Yes. For real. Yes. Get, yes. you know. All the extra, let me tell you something. Content. That, yeah. They got to have the content. Yeah. Yes. People, people want to know who you are. It's just like music. You can listen to people's music, but eventually they're going to want to, who are you? Who yeah. are you, though? Are you singing yeah. about you? Is this waist training got anything to do with you? Yeah. Do you do you use it? Did yeah, you did exactly. you use it? You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah, you know. Because nobody really wants to be bothered this with anything that if you don't wear your own product. Wear. Yeah, yeah. 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 All the time. Yeah, see, and it's, it's also like uh, music. I see. I'm a hip hop. I'm, I'm I'm an artist, rap artist. So for me, it's like I could put out a song, and somebody might like it. Some might not. But then the video come out, and they're like, oh, now right, I really right. like it. You know, especially yeah. the visual. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, see, I see what he was talking about. Right. So, yeah. yeah, get that product going. Get your get your content out there and let them feel you. Let yeah, them understand. Get let them get to the touching. Yeah. Get to talking people. Yeah. Then, go ahead and hit that mirror, girl. You know how we do it in the mirror. <laughs> we had that whole conversation in the mirror. That's all right. Day. <laughs> <laughs> and the it practicing. ain't no one to in, talk baby. to. <laughs> anyway, right. you know what it is. Is, yo. No complaints, body wear. Yeah, works. Honey. Body works, all right? And this is the young Sue, all right? Please, y'all go look her up, all right? That's it's right. quite Get a one big right. deal. Get your body right. Yeah, I'm quite a one big deal. And it's Missy, e, baby. And it's us, it's we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. Pig. It's we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. Listen, I know that this young man here is. A very busy man. I'll tell you why. Oh, yeah. He just featured on the watch list art show that we had on Thursday. That's right. I and haven't he... spoke to this man since then. Didn't know what he was doing. I come to this event here, and he's in here hustling. All right? Because this is what Michael do. Mike, right? is, Mike <laughs> is in the middle. Mike ain't just in the middle for no reason. Mike is in the mix. Yeah, and he, his business is what is it? Michael's, Michael's mix. Michael's mix. Yes. Michael's yes. Mix. yes. Baby. So what I want to do, Mike, is because for one, I already know we we both know how them drinks go. Oh, right? I definitely know. So if I don't I, know nothing else, okay. right. So we want that what we want to do. Is some serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want to talk to you about first of all, you are from the UK. I am from the UK. Yes, all from right. a little city called Derby. All right. Yeah, you see that? What's going on with oh, my wow. cousins out there? Yeah. Right? Now, now, how long have you been in business, Mike? I've been in business since March of last year. Michael's mix is a COVID baby. God dang! Wow. Yeah. Everybody, yo, everybody just. Yeah. They put their foot down yeah. at the right time, That's man. Right. That's you right. know when I think I think you know how they say that COVID was kind of designed to knock some of us out of here, yeah, especially of as black people. Of course, of course. It seemed like it birthed a lot of entrepreneurs. Oh, yeah. It did, it did. Oh yes, because I've never people knew. People mm -hmm. knew that once everything got back up and running, people were gonna need things. People gonna need a way to relax. People gonna need hair. People gonna need lashes. People are gonna need all kind of things, 100%. clothes, every anything you can name. People are gonna need because you gotta realize a lot of businesses also disappeared right. when yeah. COVID came. So yeah. somebody got to fill in the spot. Right. And hey. one thing they needed to do during COVID was drink. Exactly. It's because they're clear, they were stressed. It's Right. I wasn't, because my business started. <laughs> <laughs> they was stressed. He said, they, one so thing they I needed just, to do. I just catered to what people needed. Right. But right. the gift of making drinks, I'd never mixed a drink before until last year, March. What? And since then, it's made me thirty to 50000 in between. God, This man has yeah. turned into a whole chemist. Yeah. On his it own. Was it, On his own. It was a journey, but hey, when God leads your way, right, that's the that's crystal right. clear. If you just follow and submit, He right. will make it happen. And the entrepreneur, entrepreneurship 
chose me. Right, I didn't choose entrepreneurship. Okay, okay. I had to make something shake. So I went from a hustler to a businessman. That's mm. right. Good. Because I wasn't going to make it a success. It was just like a, 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 a fill out yeah. for now. Then Almost I was going to go like back a little to hobby be. and it's making right. me a little change. And then I said, wait, hold up a second. Right. People keep telling me it's good. Mm. So let me move to vending. Mm -hmm. Then we move to vending events. And then right. now it allows me to host. It allows me to have a dance class. It allows me to to really put right, my foot into right. different areas and meeting you guys yeah. right like i met you guys the other day yeah, yeah, yeah. yo yo and it was crazy because when i saw him today it didn't feel like oh i think i know him it was like look at michael right. you see what yeah. i'm saying right. so because he definitely has a presence so yeah, yeah. you don't have to you worry so about yeah. you know yeah. like when you're getting ready to buy somebody's product you're kind of skeptical about going to the table because people right. They kind of have that look like, mm, like, what do you want? Like, you do realize you're selling a product. So you've got to be friendly. Listen, you, know? you are your product. Exactly. I think that's one, like you say, my drink came with a sneak attack. Yes, but it, it tasted did. really yes, good. Yes, it did. It that's did, me. It did something like, I had never witnessed before. Right. I, usually, if I haven't eaten mm -hmm. and I drink alcohol, then I know what's going to happen. Right. I'm going to get where I was trying to go a little bit quicker, a lot quicker. Right. But this time, it did something totally different. Like. Right. I had had a little something to eat earlier, <laughs> uh -huh. and I was drinking, and I was drinking, and I was like, okay, it's really fruity, it's really good, I'm just really enjoying this whole fruitiness, right. but I don't feel anything, right. and so when I got to about this much left, right. I started eating something, right. and I don't know what happened, people, <laughs> I don't know what happened, people, it was like, I had this uncontrollable smile, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then right. I might have talked to myself a little bit, right. but that's okay. Right. But that's Michael. That's but a Michael's mix. That's okay? Michael in a jar. That's, that's right. Michael's mix Man. in a jar, and that's that's what I love to promote: confidence, what? strength. You don't see it coming, right. but you it's coming. A real happy ending. So that that description you just described right. how I like to work as an individual. Exactly. But the thing is, your drinks is similar to you. It has a lot of energy in it right. too. Uh, Mike has no fear. I've watched him do everything from the beginning he stepped out of the car, be himself. The music is playing, the camera hit him, Mike will hit you with a little shoulder joint. <laughs> yeah, he be sick. Like, and I mess with Mike, yo. Like, Mike is my, yo, when I tell you he came through, did his thing, even though they try to give us a little issue, you know what I mean? We, right. we work past that. You know what I mean? Right. And, but every time now, Mike, I kid you not, you coming through. You know you my boy like that. So that's right. what it is. Y'all embraced me like family from the get. Right. Even the same way you noticed how I moved out the car, y'all helped me out of the car. So right. the family connection was there because it's in the tiny, the tiny moments when you really need help. Right. Where you right. can be like, well, hold on, dearly. And, well, Oh yeah, I didn't even know you were like, let me just help. Yes, okay, yes, yes. sure. Right. And that's what made it more of an enjoyable. That these are my people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just a here lot of people to won't give. Help. Right, they won't help. Hey, you here? You do your own thing. I don't have time for that. Right. They don't have time for you, and that's the problem. Whereas our people could do so much more oh. if they just had time oh, for one another. Oh my goodness gracious me! Yeah, that's what. This is what I've come to overstand right. within being in the United States and yes. not being from here. Right. If we stick together as a black culture right. and really come together, we could be millionaires come tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If that is oh, yeah. just circulating the black dollar right. and, and sharing meaning it. Right. And sharing information with one another. That's and what stop it takes. thinking that if I share this, then this person is going to get ahead of me. Stop yeah. thinking like that. No. This is a big city. And there are other big cities right. throughout this United States. Whereas it's, it's, it's money for everybody. Right. I can promise you that. Because you can't have one person being everywhere all the time. No, you can't. Because if I win, you win. Yeah. Exactly. We exactly. all black. You know, That's not right. my chance. You know, the yes. problem is people don't think like that because everybody think, think you're going to take my spot. You're gonna. It's something that I'm doing that you're doing, and you're gonna ruin my chance. You know? Right. Nah, that's not how it works. My we, one superpower is me being me. Right. And the same thing for y'all. Y'all right. are two complete different individuals. Your superpower is that you are you. Yeah. So the space for everybody at the top. I don't want to be a millionaire on my own. Yeah. Right. If y'all right. ain't a millionaire. Right. If the cameraman ain't a millionaire, by the time I'm a millionaire, I didn't give back to my own cause. Right, right. Look I how that man think, right. man. This is why I mess with Mike. See? 
All right. See? So look, let's let's this is what we're gonna do. All right, Mike. Mm-hmm. Let them know how they can find you. Y'all, it, look, if not, one, after he tell you where to find right. him, y'all can always go to Daily Radio and you'll find it on my page. Oh, yeah. All right. So hold on. Tell us where you from. Where you so Michael's Mix, which is M I C H A E L S. Underscore mix. Y'all just send me a message, hit me up if y'all just want to have a chit chat because I'm a motivational speaker too. So if you want to get to where I am mentally as well as business wise, listen, my DMs are open, especially to my own people. I'm here for y'all. See, always I'm here for y'all. See y'all, see all this love right here. Listen, that's all it is. The black circle, that's all that's I care right. about. That's all it is. And I appreciate y'all for... No problem. Course, we appreciate you, Michael. Michael. Of course, you know what it is, Mike. We appreciate Mike. you. Yo, thank you I just you feel like I'm going to wake up sometime next week and see Michael somewhere. Uh, he's going to keep popping up because we're going to get him an obvious. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. You see how this worked out. Yo, it's quite a one big deal. And it's Miss E, baby. And it's us, it's we. It's, it's DLE. All right? We'll see y'all in a minute. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up? This is quite a one big deal. And it's Missy, e, baby. Uh-huh. And we are sitting here with a young, beautiful black queen. Yay. Yeah. And we've been in here just, you know, kicking it to all the young black entrepreneurs, especially all the women, as you see. And right. uh, what's your name? My name is Jasmine. All right, Jasmine. Jasmine now, in the building. Now, Jasmine. Yes. Please tell us about your business. Okay. So, I am Jasmine, owner of Shop Sage by Jazz, and um, a lot of people mispronounce the name. It's actually just Jazz backwards. Okay. Um, yeah, you see, you see that little play on that. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. You gotta be unique these days. Yeah, this is just like my thank you card. This is my logo here. Isn't that pretty? Um, Thank you. So you just I put that in clothes. all your boxes or just Yeah, I put believe? this in every box. So if you tag us, then we give you like a 10% discount off. Um, okay. Just kind of, you know, yeah. a way to me to get the pictures and then you to get a discount. Period. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody can work with one another. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so now how long have you been in business? I've only been in business two months this week. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. Two months so, interview, yes. pop-up shop, <laughs> and whatever else. Is this your first pop-up shop? Um, no, it's not my first pop-up shop. I just did um, my first one a couple weeks ago. Oh, so okay. you've been out here hustling now. I've been out here hustling. Okay. Hey, hey. I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. <laughs> if you don't get it, somebody else will. As you should. Understand that, people. If you don't get it, right. somebody else will. Now, now, your product, what... what Tell us about your product. Okay. So, I sell clothes for the hot girls, okay. for the vacations, for the moms. I mean, if you want to be a hot mama, it's a hot mama summer. Right. Um, you know, the girls, the vacations, the vacations, um, just everyday wear, club right. wear. Right. I do it all. Right. Um, so, that's where my clothes are kind of catered to. Um, so, I like different prints. You know, I don't I don't really like to have things that you can find at another boutique. Right. That's, thank you. Right. The purpose of a boutique. That's right. That's the whole purpose of like, like back in the day when me and my girls used to get together and we were boutique guys. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's mm-hmm. like that's the whole purpose of a boutique. You want right. different stuff. You understand? Right. You want different stuff. People. Right. I don't want to see the all over one piece in the one in in six different right. colors. Right. No kind of print on it. And then it's just gonna be and like, well, everywhere. she got it for a dollar cheaper. I'm just gonna go and shop with right. her. And it's like, no, baby, right. you only can get this at Sock. Exactly. Okay. You can only get this. That here. is you, what do I'm talking about. You have a store? Is it like an online store? So right now I mm-hmm. only have um, online. Um, you know, being that I just got in business, right. I am looking to get a storefront because Atlanta needs storefronts. Going to the mall, yes. it's a waste of yes. time. It, it is. is a waste of time. The same and I'm black stuff owned. over and over again. And then I don't know who the buyers are for most of these major stores because they're getting the stuff that some of our people just don't wear. Exactly. You know. And the sizes are off. Like they that, are. Someone asked me, why don't you have a sizing chart on your on your website? And I said, well, the sizing charts that they use, that's not it's that's not, not equipped for our bodies. Not. And I'm it's natural, not. baby. I haven't been to the doctor yet. It's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not. It's just like when you buy a gown. She you know, sometimes yeah. we buy a gown. <laughs> you need don't three sizes it, up because the 12 that you bought wasn't a 12. Oh, the 12 I'm like, no. Three. 
Mm-hmm. How in the world am I getting an 18 and it's number 12, but this doesn't make sense? So, no, nobody has time for that. Right. Hey. <laughs> Yo. So, all right. So, now, how how has business been coming? And we're going to try to get some of these other people done. Okay, of course. Um, we can go ahead and wrap it up. So, business has been amazing. Um, good, good. Honestly, I was looking at my sales the other day. Every day is not a sale, you know, and I had to realize that with business. Right. I right. have my friends who have supported me from the very beginning. I have okay. supporters. Like, when people, like, shout with me that I don't even know, that's, that's like, really when I'm like, okay, how did you find yeah, out about my business? Yeah, it makes you really business? excited. It makes you really excited yeah. when you get a sale. Um, But as far as business goes, I market my things. You know, I went on vacation the other week with my friends, and I took pictures. Like, y'all right. going to take these pictures. Oh, of course. I'm going to my brand. That's right. I'm always wearing my brand. Like this is one of my new Otherwise, arrivals. you gotta go out and pay somebody exactly. to wear your let brand. See, let them see. Let them see what you got. Okay, well, All right. Now. <laughs> so this is just um, gonna be like a jumpsuit for the fall. Um, it has like a little bit of you know like gold type of hint. Normally I would wear this with like heels or something like right, that. Right. Right. Of course. But um, yeah. So it's just like if you're going out, you're going to a girl's birthday dinner, yeah. something like that. So you could do a couple of things with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. um, I sell clothes for everybody. So come and shop with us at shop S A J by J A S. Spend some money on yourself. Spend some money on yourself, ladies. You know, hey. Yeah. Get up and look good. Even right. if you ain't going nowhere, get right. up and look good. Got it. Thank no, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming it was through. Wonderful. Jazz, aka Jazz Sash. <laughs> so listen That's again. Right. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me at on Instagram at s h o p s a j by b y j a s and that's Ooh. on everything my website www dot and on um facebook as well okay all natural see people see people <laughs> see people all you gotta all right. do is keep it together that's Just it keep it together all right so we're gonna Ooh. you know what it is man it's quite a one big deal it's Missy, baby. But she almost got lost I'm somewhere. I'm sorry. Sometimes I daydream. <laughs> no, I didn't almost get lost. I but did it, get lost. But it's but us. It's we. It's DLE. We'll be hey. right back, all right? Thank Peace. you. We still here. We're getting ready to wrap it up. But before yeah. we wrap it up, we wanted to catch some of these business, all these young entrepreneurs that's out here doing it up, all right? So, first off, my glam, right? More glam. It's more, blink more glam. glam. Blink more glam. Okay, let me get this Get him, right. Get him right, girl, because he's going he gonna to mess it up. Get him get right. right I got you guys. What's up, everybody? My name is Morgan, a.k.a. Morgs Too Much, and I'm the CEO and founder of Blink More Glam, home to all things glamorous. We sell lashes, accessories, and we recently introduced clothing, so this top that I'm wearing I is from me. I me. also do makeup, so you can follow me online at Blink More Glam. That's sure B-L-I-N-K-M-O-R-G-G-L-A-M, and you can also follow the, um, the BMG Closet for all your accessories and must have in fashion. Okay. How long you been in business? Um, I've been in business for two years. I started my business March 4th of 2019. Okay. Um, we started off just selling lashes and now we've evolved to lashes, beauty accessories, fashion, fashion accessories, just literally the home to all things glamorous. Okay. Can you let them see what this looks Yes, because they need to see it. Yeah. There it is. Get into it, guys. Talk to us. So, <laughs> Wearing my Bradshaw That's blazer, right. which is available on that my is website. So super cute. All of my accessories and everything, my rings, my bracelets, that is they're cute. also on the website. Um, and Let's you guys can follow right. me. Make sure you all shop the website www.blinkmoreglam.com. Get you. fly with me, okay? That's right. Love it. Where you from? Born and raised in Atlanta. Okay, okay cool. Right here. All right. A rare gem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's she what's came up. and she said it. And she said what she had to say. That's she right. said what she said. That's what y'all say. Not here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Quiet, quiet. quiet. Oh, you quiet. Gotta, Stop messing up stuff. I'm with- <laughs> Hey, I'll man, put you no. in the corner. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go. Bye. I got it. All right. So you know what it is, man. Quite a one big deal. And we, it's Missy, baby. And it's Missy. And it's DLE. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yes. You gonna leave your heart? Yes. You ready? All right. It's quite a one big deal. And it's Missy, baby. And it's us. Is we? It's DLE. DLE. Look, we here right now with another successful owner. All right. Black right, owned another business black woman owner. You're a coming, woman in, coming, coming through, baby. I see, I see too. what she came through with. I know what she came now. through with. All right, so tell us a little bit about your business. Hi, I have my business, Slim Waist Gang, and I have my own waist trainers, and I okay. also sell my own fat burner cream. Wow. Yes, I was going to yes, ask, yes. do you have the, the, the gel or the cream to go with yep, it? Yes, okay. I have the cream to go with it. Okay. It has hemp oil in it, and okay. it also helps with cellulite, and it also helps um, loosen up your muscles. Good, and I have good. my own... 
army racers too. So you have a little she extra jiggly in. flat, and I have those for you too. Okay. I'm getting busy. I'm getting busy, and I also sell postpartum um, surgery uh, products too. So I have okay, the whole yeah. body shapers. I got yeah. the fupa panties. So yeah, yeah I'm just trying Wait to do my minute. own little Not thing. Not the fupa panties. The fupa panties. Did she say the yes, fupa the panties? The fupa panties. Please. Now, Hell. How long have you been in business? I've been in business for a year now. Okay. Now, okay. Again. But that's the thing that everybody who's interviewed today has not been in business that long, but it's doing so well, and that's great though, because it's like everybody has taken advantage of the COVID situation. Uh -oh, you know, more so. it threw a lot of people out of the game and brought a lot of people in the game. It did, it did. I also own my own transportation company. I've been okay. doing that for 11 years, and so when the pandemic hit, okay. it kind of slowed everything up, right, and I had right. to think of other ways to take care of my family so I right. like to work out and stuff so okay. I'm like hey let's put this in to yeah. my family yeah. thing let's get it this never, going it can never be too much because, no not I mean, at all hey somebody gotta do it right, right. Hey. bring that over here so, for me this is the cream yes yep, this is my fat burner cream right. slim okay. waist gang slim and waist gang yes yes now, yes oh they, um, they can find me at Latanya the boss on IG okay y'all heard that Latanya the boss IG yes. okay that's what I wanted to say all right so look Y'all know what to do. Y'all locate her. Get on IG. When you get on IG, you locate our radio station so they can find you easily if they can't find you on their own. Yeah. Right, yes. right. So friend us, they all our friends will find you. And right. Everything. But um, I think this is good information because um, right. a lot of women are out there trying to figure out how they can get rid of this. Yeah. Yeah. Of this. Yeah. And it, it help, it's a body shaper too. It help with the butt lifter. Let them see what you got going. Yeah, because see, yes. sometimes... And then see, they have like, right, also with the little buck back there. Yeah. So, hey. Always need something to hold up hold back there. Hold that up there. Lift that mug up. Because not everybody. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. And I'm sorry. One more thing. That's I also okay. help people do get their business credit and their personal credit together. Okay. Too. Okay. Oh. When I say she's doing it my mic. This girl got like eight no, businesses. You're, you're not part Jamaican. Yeah, I was about to say. She got many I'm jobs. Mom. I'm home. Many jobs. I'm, I'm okay. Uh, I had to throw that up okay, in there. Okay. So. Hey, yo, Brooklyn. Now nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Yo, no bulls. Yo, I appreciate you for sitting down with us and kicking yes, it with us. Thank I you have. so much. Thank you so much really for stopping. Really appreciate now. it. Yeah. And, and you know so what it is. We're gonna be out of here. I'm so proud of her. You know, as a black business owner, yeah. like you just. You see it, but you don't see it enough. Right, and I'm right. glad this is this has been so wonderful. Today. Yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah. All right. Had a lot of beautiful pieces. Yes, yeah, good. All right. Well, you know what it is. We out of here, man. It's, time, it's our right. time. We gotta go. Hey, thank you so much. So All much right. You. And I've got your radio thing. And I'm yes. Gonna please, thank you so much. Please. You'll see. I'll follow. I'll definitely you'll see me following you. Oh, yeah. see. Yes, ma'am. Right. Just because I told her. Oh, yes. Come on. We're not gonna leave y'all out. See. Just don't be right. don't be nervous. Come on, okay. we Come on, got ain't you. no sit with me. Nobody yeah, gonna be yeah. babysitting you today. Yeah, Come on yeah. up here. All right, we here, we here, and we there. All right, quite a one big deal. And it's Missy, baby. Uh huh. And it's us as we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. Listen, what's your name, young lady? Marquisha Metox. How old are you? Nineteen. Get, wow. Let's get it. The youngest, the youngest business the youngest, owner in she's here. She's the youngest here so yeah, far. Yeah, but this the, is absolutely wonderful. Now, what is it that you do? Well, I have I sell cosmetics like um skincare products and um my favorite is the turmeric face foam soap cuz it helped me with my dark spots and stuff okay, and when I, I realized that it helped I was so happy. So, yeah, I sell body scrubs, body butter, rose facial serums. Okay. And what's the name of this one? This is a cleanser, right? Yes, the turmeric face and body foam wash. Oh, wow, turmeric. See, that all this already I love starting you, out right cuz turmeric is good for everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing it? Since last year of August, getting that money, I like it. So I, you been you 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 mix all your own products. You come mm -hmm. up with the mixture. So you're the chemist. Yes. Okay. All of them handmade. We know wow, she got all dope. A's in chemistry. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> um, Dang, yeah, that is. What's your what's your expectations with this here? As far as as far as um, where would you like to see this go? I want this to go big because I see that it actually helps people. So when right. something actually works and it helps, you know so the crazy you have, thing. 
for for the cleanser, what do you have like you know for people who get like sometimes with cleansers people get like me myself. Sometimes you get dried out after using the cleanser. You have like a moisturizer to back it up or a toner or anything yeah, like see, that. Yeah, see, my brand I make products for all skin types. Okay, good. So I just don't focus on oily skin or dry right, skin. Right. I do oily mixture, combine all that. So would a person have to meet with you for you to kind of like look at their skin, or they can just kind of tell you that they're. Like, like, say, me, for instance, oh, I'm oily up top. I'm just, like, oily face-wise, mm -hmm. neck down, I'm dry. Mm -hmm. So, well, what products will help with that? Right, right. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so, like, all the products help with all skin types. Okay, so right, gotcha, if gotcha. You, like, Oh, so it doesn't, oh, that's right, it's just going to be overall. Yeah. For, okay, I got you. Yeah, now, I got you. Now, where can they find you and this product? Oh, on Instagram, Sag Medics. Sag Medics? Mm -hmm. Spell it out. S-A-G-M-E-T-I-C-S. Yeah. S -E no underscores, no nothing? No. Straight Sag Medics. Sag Medics. All right. So, that's, you heard it here first that's on right. DLE Radio. I'm Quarter One Big Dev. And I'm Miss E, baby. Uh -huh. I had and another moment. It's okay. Yeah, I'm she back. did. I'm it's having a, a moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having, I did heavily. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm but so sorry. We're going to get out of yeah. here, all right? Make sure you Sag try out Sag Medics. Skincare. Yeah. Um, I think she has something wonderful on her hands. Yeah. And I will be tapping into that. All right. I all right. It. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and checking us out. Thank right. you. The youngest, the no youngest problem. one in the game. The youngest one in the game. Word. Baby. All right, y'all. Uh huh, and it's us as we. It's, it's DLE. DLE. We're here with this young lady right here doing her thing. I don't know exactly what this is in this package, but please tell us what you got going. I'm Ivy Sejarius. I invented Yoni Pearls 11 years ago, and oh. what I have right here are 12 of our latest Yoni Pearls. I formulated 12 different pearls on the market. So these are designed to detox the womb, the uterus, the cervix, the vagina. Man, what the hell is, hold on. Uh-huh, What, uh -huh. Is, That's what right. is this? You, you want to you wanna make sure you get your lady one of them quads so that yeah. way she can, uh, her vagina can have full service. Yeah, like this is TTC. Mm -hmm. This is if you have like a low ovarian reserve, low egg count, you want to restore your egg. Quad, well, fix your face. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's not it's a bad like, thing. Oh, you, yeah. Your face need to be turned like that when she's not right. I, I detox the scrotum too, so I pull some information up here for you as well. Oh, yeah, so I do it both ways. Yeah, okay, so break all this down for for the men that don't know nothing about it like myself. Um, I just let you know that a part of detoxing is because we want to remove dead cells. Dead cells accumulate in the body and it can right. cause other problems, right? right? Um, and something that's common in women is yeast. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. It tends to fester. But right. men get yeast as well. That's right. But sometimes... When you play with her, then she can get like give you, you know... She can, yeah, or you can, you can play get with some her. of that on you, and then you be. She, she can cream on you, especially mm -hmm. during intimacy. A lot of men associate creaming with something and that's good, but that's just due to miseducation. And guess what? You love it so much, you don't even care. Yeah, yeah. However, see? that is right. a sign of dead cell shedding. Yeah. And sometimes it's not good dead cells that shedding, but any dead cell, you want to go ahead and eradicate it from the body as quickly as possible. Yeah. Dead cells can contribute to cancer. Right. Yes. So these are. These are designed for the dead cells. Mm -hmm. We wow. do it for fibroids, endometriosis, wow. the herpes simplex virus, the human mm -hmm. papilloma virus. Okay. I just developed a pearl for alkaline. So, like, we just do a little bit of something, something, all nice. herbal for the body. Now, does that, that let me ask mm -hmm. real quick. Yes, ma'am. When that is inserted, it just, it, it dissolves? 
No, it's ma'am. Not dissolved. It's no, just... ma'am. The herbs that are contained within the formula, it'll saturate your cervix. Okay. And okay. then your cervix delivers to the womb. So we okay. need your cervix to deliver all these herbs to the womb okay. and let it go ahead and start working. Okay. Yes, so ma'am. So the, the pearl, well, I guess what I'm trying to, is it something that just stays there? Oh, no, or? ma'am. No, ma'am. You okay. take it out. And when you take it out, so does all those dead cells come out with it. Oh, yes, how ma'am. How long does it need to stay in there now? How well, normally it... you can do it for 72 hours, but me, I keep mine in the entire seven days and my okay. body, my cervix will naturally discharge it. Okay, okay. Because I was so, going to say, yeah. now, girl, how we, how we going to kind of, you know, get that, you know, oh, you got to go in and get it out. Okay. You got to okay. go get it out. Okay. What, yes, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong? No, you want this. No, you want this. You, that's what I'm trying I, to no, tell I, you. I, I, You're keeping it right. No, I, 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 no, right I like, I, I hear this. It's just it's something I haven't never heard. I've never heard of this. Well, you just got educated yeah. today, And you call brother. it the yoni. These are, um, uh -huh, well, by trademark, they're womb healing vaginal pearls. Um, yeah. Real yoni pearls are the only FDA registered that I invented um, 11 years ago. So, yeah. So, I'm curious. You, when you're saying yoni, I know they're... It's Sanskrit for a vagina, but this is a womb healing vaginal. Right, product. right, right. Yes, no, no, no. I'm just wondering if if that if that's your product that Tasha K is promoting. I well, just there are a lot know. of people selling knockoffs straight from China. And okay. They put it in okay. 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 Now, how okay. can how can you. they find this I got product? You. You can go to realyonipearls.com. No really? other yoni pearl. Did you bring a card? Yes, ma'am. Oh, cards and everything. everything. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and okay, so you heard what she said. Real yoni. Real girls, Yoni Pearls, girls. and you can always um, Google Real pearl. Yoni Pearls, create a Yoni Pearls. These are only FDA registered Yoni Pearls. And just to make sure that we don't interfere with uh, women's health rights, we're making it um, FDA approved so we can put you in local grocery stores. Okay. So you can just come right. and get the real deal off the shelf. Because yeah, you can't be play good. with your pussy yeah. like that. You really can't. See, you weren't ready for that. Them knockoffs will get you. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll know when something's wrong. Yeah. You will know, ladies. Most brand ambassadors don't use the product. Right. No, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tie yeah. it up and end Yeah, that's what I'm bad. saying. I don't want, I, I tell yeah. people all the time, I don't want your product if you don't wear it or use right. it. Right, use it. I use no. these. And you can yeah. swallow them. You can also insert them into your rectum. Now, what's your name? Ivy. Ivy. Yes. And, and that's, He's that's not ready. your name? So, Ivy Sagarius, um, Sagittarius and Aquarius on the Zodiac. Ah, ah, I like it. See? Yeah, you did. see what she just did? All right, that's a bag. Well, you know how to find it. Well, do you, you got an Instagram or anything? Real Yoni Pearls. Right. Real, Real Yoni, Yoni Pearls. Pearls. No underscores. I right? yeah. Please Go contact. Go get your whole them. life and yeah, your kitten bag. Go get your kitten bag, ladies. <laughs> get, it, get, it, get, it, get, get your right. kid back. Get it yeah, situated. Yeah, get it situated. Look, Make her this, happy. This the, this the last interview, and this was damn sure the one. You heard? <laughs> That's, That's right. Hello. 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 I'm glad we got her. Hey, you know what it is? Quite a one big deal. And it's Miss eBay. Uh huh. And it's us. Is the Yoni. You got him. He's